Is your Google Home not responding as it should? Knowing how to quickly troubleshoot and fix your device is essential to keep everything running smoothly. In this video, I'll walk you through several proven methods to get your Google Home back in action. If your Google Home isn't responding to voice commands or only partially works, for instance, the volume adjusts but it won't execute commands, these are signs something's off. Let's fix that right now. First, check that nothing is blocking the microphone on your Google Home. Next, make sure the device is powered on and connected to the Internet. These simple steps are crucial for proper function. Moving on to some basic troubleshooting steps to get your Google Home responding again. First, try disconnecting it from power. Wait about 10 seconds before you plug it back in. Sometimes, doing this several times can help. If that doesn't fix the issue, the next thing to check is the cable under the device. Make sure it's properly connected. A loose cable can often be the culprit behind connectivity issues, so reseating it might just do the trick. Let's see if these steps help solve the problem. Now, let's take a closer look at your Google Home's interactions. Head over to My Activity on your Google Home app. Here, you can review any commands you've recently given. Play back these recordings to listen for clarity. If the recordings sound muffled or unclear, it might indicate an issue with the device's microphone picking up your voice. This step is great for diagnosing whether the problem is with command recognition or something else. If the simpler fixes haven't worked, let's try some advanced troubleshooting steps. Start by removing the bottom magnetic base of your Google Home to reveal the micro USB connector. Next, connect your Google Home to a Windows PC using a USB cable. After that, reconnect the power connector to your device. You should hear sounds that indicate the drivers are updating. This process can help reset any software issues. Once completed, your device should reboot and prompt you for the initial setup. This method can effectively refresh your Google Home system and resolve deeper issues. Next up, let's focus on the physical condition of your Google Home. Take a moment to inspect the microphone ports. Use a dry Q-tip to carefully clean these areas. Sometimes, dust or debris can block the ports, preventing your voice commands from being detected properly. If you suspect there's more dust inside, you can gently tap the device on your hand or a soft surface to dislodge any hidden particles. Keeping these ports clean can make a big difference in how well your Google Home hears and responds to you. To reset your Google Home to factory settings, find the microphone button on the back of the device. Press and hold it until the light ring turns orange. You'll hear a message saying the device is about to reset. If you want to cancel, just let go of the button. Otherwise, keep holding it until the reset process begins. Once it's done, your Google Home will return to its original setup mode, and you can set it up again from scratch. That's it for the video on how to fix your Google Home when it's not responding. I hope these step-by-step -step methods help you get your device working again without needing a replacement. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more simple tech fixes. Got questions? Or did one of these steps work for you? Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear how it went. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.